Hello everybody, I'm Jack Wild, and welcome to my little YouTube channel, Jack Wild's BLS Corner, where I'm going to be reviewing a lot of Zach Wild and Black Label Society gear. But first, I feel like I need to address the elephant in the room, and I don't mean this fella right here. I mean the fact that a lot of you people these days are mistaking me, Jack Wild, for the man himself, Zach Wild. Alright? But I'm clearly not Zach Wild. First difference. Like I said, my name's Jack Wild. So we got a J versus a Z and a R versus a W. I mean, people, these letters aren't even close to each other in the alphabet. Second difference I'd like to point out is the name of our bands. Zach Wild, back in the day, he started the band Black Label Society. Whereas me, about a year before Zach started Black Label Society, I started my own band and called it, well, I got a, I got a concert t-shirt around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. My band's name it's Pitch Dark Tag Association. All right, this particular concert t-shirt from a world tour we did supporting the Acoustic Stew album. All right, now then. About a year after that, I guess it was, Black Label Society came out with their own album called Sonic Brew, okay? But I'm sure the similarities and names are just a coincidence. That brings me to the third difference I'd like to point out for y'all, which is something my wife and Barbara brought to my attention. All right, which is that I was actually born four months earlier than Zach Wild was. All right, which means that if anybody looks like anybody, Zach Wild looks like me. Now then, speaking of Zach, a lot of people these days say that Zach is one of the best fiddle players in the world. All right, perhaps even the best now that Charlie Daniels has unfortunately passed away. And in fact, Zach Wild has his own guitar company called Wild Audio, all right? And that brings us to the guitar we're going to review today. This Wild Audio guitar right here, signed by the man himself on the back of the headstock. This particular model is the Blizzard Odin Grail, all right? And you can look up the specs on this as well as I can on the interwebs. But what you won't know unless you watch some Zach Wild videos is that they infuse the wood with natural steroids, all right? Zach doesn't say why he does that, but I suspect it's to keep your wood harder longer because you don't want your wood going soft in the peak of your performance, if you know what I mean. It's also doubly important for these guitars because as you can see, the frets are ebony, which means they're a little bit bigger on average than the average maple fretboard, if you know what I mean. But there's a lot of statistical overlap in the distributions, so don't get it twisted. All right, so now comes the time in the video where I let y'all listen to how this guitar sounds, and I'm going to insert a cut right here just as soon as I learn how to play something. Well, I'm back now with the Wild Audio Blizzard Odin Grail. Now let's see how she sounds. Well, that didn't sound right at all. Let me see here. Obviously have some, some kind of technical issue, and as soon as I figure it out, I'll be right back. Thanks for your patience. I think I figured out what may have been wrong. I was using a generic pick right here when I should have been using an official Zach Wild BLS pick. So let's see your house sounds now. That's the Wild Audio Blizzard Odin Grail. Well, there you have it. The Wild Audio Blizzard Odin Grail. Perhaps the best sounding guitar on the market today. Hey, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to let me know you're a member of the Doom Crew. And I'll see you next time. In the meantime, remember, don't put up with any BS. Insist on authentic BLS. And I'll see you next time.